To stay competitive, you've upgraded your process automation system. The challenge, training your personnel to operate that new system by startup. Thanks for coming, guys. I've got great news. We've got corporate's approval to upgrade our process automation system. Now, I've been talking to engineering about setting the transition schedule. It's tight. We're looking at startup 10 months from today. That means you, the operations team, have the job of making a smooth cutover with all the operators trained and ready to go the day we switch to the new system. Now, what are you going to need to accomplish that? You're looking at 200 operators, supervisors, and managers on that system. We can't train more than five at a time to keep operations going. The new regulations say we've got to track all that training. It's got to be documented. I don't even know where to start. What's this going to cost us? Well, I'm looking at this team to come up with some options and costs. OK, here's what we've got. We can build our own training module. We can buy training from the vendor, or we can contract from a third party. We've got some real challenges. Scheduling, cost, availability. Look, you guys tell me what you think we're going to need to have the operators trained to run this system competently and safely. Bottom line, we got to make this switch over safe and efficient if we're going to meet or exceed our production commitments. Well, they need to be learning live. It should be interactive, so workers can call up demos, practice sessions, navigation help, quizzes, things like that. It also needs to be the same equipment that we're buying. It needs to be flexible. The guys should be able to log on and off according to their own schedules, so it should be available 24-7. I agree, and they can't be dependent on other class members catching up or getting ahead of them. Right, they should be able to repeat portions or even a whole class. We're going to need proof of completion and progress reports as they go. You know, we need each operator on the same page. We want to make sure that everyone responds the same way to an alarm or a failure. Wow, that's a long shopping list. Let's go out and see who can fill the bill. Morning, Bill. You got a moment? Sure, come on in. I wanted to give you an update on the operator training evaluation I've been doing. We had quite an extensive shopping list. Do you have anyone who can fill it? I actually did. The Emerson e-learning program fits all our requirements. No travel, 24-7 flexibility, right price. Let's go with it. All right, I'll get right on it. Here, let me show you some of the highlights. Emerson's e-learning gives you the flexibility you need to fit your operation schedule. It keeps students engaged with commentary, demonstrations, and interactive workshops. And you can monitor your operator's progress to ensure they're ready when they need to be. Hey, I hear you're taking the e-learning training on the new system. Thought you'd need this big mug of coffee to get through this one, huh? Thanks. You know, it's not bad. It's not your typical boring online training. I'm almost done with it, and I'm actually looking forward to the Delta V system installation. Do you mean you haven't done it yet? Nope. Quit procrastinating. Half the guys on my shift have already completed it. Well, what do you do? You're already signed up for it. You just go to the computer, and it's available 24-7. 24-7? 24-7. for your part in a successful startup. We're already a week ahead of schedule with no incidents, and we're ahead of our output projections. Well, you know, I've already noticed that the operators on every shift are running the system better and more confidently. They've really adapted well to the change. The hands-on experience really prepared them. You know, with a similar upgrade scheduled for our sister plant on the East Coast, I'm going to recommend we make this the standard training procedure company-wide. What do you guys think? For more information on Emerson's e-learning programs, contact your local sales office or Emerson Educational Services.